is responsible for including the kidnapping of an 81-year-old woman. Well, deputies say it doesn't end there with John Christopher Calhoun beating a construction worker and also ripping off his truck. Well, Fox News, George Franco is live in Walton County tonight. George, deputies describing a wild scene. How are the victims tonight? Well, Russ and Sine, the victims, the 81-year-old woman, we understand, is still in the hospital recovering from broken bones and other injuries. And the construction worker, we understand, has been allowed to go home with injuries he suffered at the hands, authorities say, of a man who is now behind bars here in Walton County after a weekend, two-day-long and two-county-long crime spree. All I can tell you is is that one bad person is in jail. That person, according to Walton County Sheriff Joe Chapman, is 29-year-old John Christopher Calhoun. The sheriff says Calhoun's crime started sometime over the weekend at the Sloganville home of 81-year-old Beverly Johnson, where he's alleged to have kidnapped the elderly woman. We don't know if there's any contact or any knowledge of them knowing each other. We just don't know. Sheriff Chapman says Sunday afternoon, Calhoun crashed her car in a flood detention ravine in Barrow County behind a theater on High Highway 316 with her in the trunk. She was rescued and hospitalized, but somehow Calhoun eluded an infrared helicopter, deputies, and canines who searched into the night. He did a door to door canvas search, knocked on every door within every subdivision within eyesight of this, of this area. At one point, we're told Calhoun broke into this construction trailer near where the car was abandoned until a worker came inside Monday morning. When he did, he attacked that, uh, that uh, gentleman and uh, uh, took his keys and, and some other things and then. Uh, Took his truck. Then we're told investigators got a tip Calhoun had been spotted in Monroe in Walton County, but fled and was captured a few miles away in the man's stolen truck. He's now facing kidnapping, robbery, and other charges. And he is where he needs to be right now. And if there's more to go with him, we'll put them with him too. We just don't know yet. And Walton County Sheriff Joe Chapman says if there are other suspects that they're going to look at, they're going to look at that, and they're trying to see if there are other people connected to these crimes. Reporting live tonight in Walton County, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. All right, we appreciate